Let's look for another game. Darmanitan, though, man. Damn, dude, how much power does this thing have? Okay, so we've got Tyranitar, and, you know. Okay, we're gonna probably have to keep Gyarados alive for Talonflame. But that's, that'll be the only thing I think Gyarados needs to stay alive for. Talonflame. Because Talonflame, if Gyarados is not alive, Talonflame runs a train on everybody in my team. So Gyarados is going to be sort of like a really, a really relied upon defensive presence in this game. We're going to start with Tarmanitan though, just to be able to hit Tyranitar up. It's going to go into Latios. Shit. This isn't good actually. <laughs> or we can just go into wreck -It Ralph, who'll be able to take probably the Dragon move really well. Okay, this is good. This is fine. We can use this as an opportunity to set up our Stealth Rocks now. Which will really be helpful when taking down Talonflame. And unless he has a Defogger in the form of Latios, I don't see him getting our Stealth Rocks away. The Ferrothorn Switch was extremely obvious. Now we can go into Darmanitan and hit this guy, threaten him out with the Flare Blitz, and at least something is going to get hit really hard. It's going to go for the knockoff. But I don't think it matters too much. It just, I mean, it just kind of lowers our damage output a little bit. But it still has a ton of attack, so it shouldn't be too big of a hindrance. Let's just go for another Flare Blitz. Fuck. Probably gonna go into Latinos again. Probably deciding who we should go into. Probably Tyran. Maybe to maybe Tyranitar. Then again, that's a lot of damage. That. But then no no no. He's go oh, he's staying in. Okay, he probably overpredicted me to predict him. Oh my god, all the recoil damage killed my goddamn Darmanitan. Okay. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to see Latinos again. If I am, I'd prefer to go into Tyranitar to potentially Thunder Wave him and slow it down for good. But that's not going to be what happens. But he does have an Intimidate, so this means that Heracross is a very good switching to be able to take a dark move especially. It's gonna go into Conkledur. This isn't... I don't know. I mean, I haven't really encountered Conkledur with Heracross yet. Mega Heracross. So, I'm... I don't know. Is this... Is this a favorable situation or not? Probably gonna go for the knockoff on me. But then again, I got a Mega Stone, so why would you do that? Probably gonna go straight up with the Drain Punch, to be honest. The Drain Punch is fairly... fairly obvious. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just go with the Nosferatu. Here. It's gonna go for the knockoff steal on Heracross? Come on, what are you doing? Damn, alright. I. Why would he go for the knockoff on the Heracross when... Well, then again, I guess it wasn't really... It could have potentially not been Mega, so... But still, kind of... Oh, oh! Nah, the Mob Punch isn't gonna finish me off at that range. And the Ray Bird is able to finish him off, so this is great. And the Sandstorm... You know, thank thankfully his own sandstorm took him out there because Conquer is a problem for some other teams that I have. Now, he's probably going to maybe go into mm, probably Talonflame. Because you know, they always say when you die, you go back in there with your fastest Pokemon. But if he did go into Talonflame, then Gyarados would be the best switcher. Or if he goes into Latinos, then Gyarados is still the best switcher because he's especially defensive. Gengar, I'm always worried if these things have Thunderbolt. I'm always worried about it, but sometimes I just gotta play ballsy. And this is one of those times, man. Hopefully you don't have Thunderbolt. If you do, Destiny Bond, holy shit. This is a crazy ass Gengar. And why is the Sandstorm still going on, man? This guy had a, he probably had a Smooth Stone on his um, Gyarados. Let's just go for the Waterfall. It's not gonna be able to kill him in one hit. And um, let's go for a taunt as well, because I'm tired of this guy Destiny Bonding. I don't want anything crazy to happen. And now the Destiny Bond is gone, we're gonna hit him with a waterfall, and this should be good. There we go. And no Destiny Bond. Okay, I managed to come out of that pretty well. I don't know why he didn't just attack me, but I guess that... You know, different, so different strokes for different folks, man. His Gengar probably was really useful in other ways, but not in that one. I, I came out on top of that shit. Now let's go for the Thunder Wave, because I will be able to take the Draco, unless it's Specs. Then again, Metagross took that really well, so I'll be able to take it no problem. Gonna be able to hit this guy with the Thunder Wave, slow him down, this is great. Now, now we can potentially go into Metagross. Just to keep my um, Gyarados' HP up, 
in case Talonflame comes back in. And he goes for a Defog. Why the fuck not? I'm thinking just go for an Ice Punch. Then again, Talonflame switch. Maybe he cleared the rocks away just to make things easier for Talonflame to come in on. But if he stays in, then I can just go for another Stealth Rock. But that's predicting that he'll stay in. What if he doesn't stay in? I don't know. I mean, I can just go for an Ice Punch right now and finish this off. And yeah, I can just switch to Gyarados if he decides to go into Talonflame. Yeah, he's fine. And that still did a lot of damage. Oh, and he got the... How did you... How, how does a fire Pokemon get frozen? I don't understand. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. If he uses a fire move, he's gonna de he's gonna dethaw. Yeah, he's gonna dethaw if he uses a fire move. So I'm gonna go in there with Gyarados. Oh, he forfeited. Yay, we won! Yo, man, how does it? How does a fire Pokemon get frozen? I thought they were immune to being frozen, but I, I guess the fuck not. Very strange. Very, very strange. Okay. So far, man, like I said, this team is very interesting, man. You guys have seen, you got, you guys have seen them somewhat at their optimal level. I just, I don't, I just don't know, man. I mean, I would use this team in the main field, but I, I gotta do way more tests with it. You guys know me. I use the same squad for like, you know, five, six, ten, twenty, eighty games in a row. So, yeah, it's just a matter of me just trying to like really feel them out. But um, yeah, man, we're go we're gonna do some more games.